This sports segment of Naperville News 17 is brought to you by Naperville Bank and Trust. Unfortunately, Thanksgiving is over. Some of you are still rubbing your bellies in fond remembrance, but in the meantime, sports are back. And while many of you are feasting on leftovers, let's check out some fresh highlights. First, a matchup between Plainfield South and Wabonzi Valley and boys basketball. The Warriors come in with a one and three record, Plainfield South two and two. I know Thanksgiving is over, but Justin Mullinex was cooking. Mullinex shoots and splash. Dub V trails 23-15 at the half. Mullinex is just getting started, people. Third quarter, he catches rhythm and drains another one from deep. He's fired up. Time out South, but it ain't over. Late in the second half, Mullinex comes off the double screen, fires, and bang. Come on. Is it the shoes? Six threes on the night for Mullinex. Dub B wins 52-45. Staying on the hardwood, this time girls basketball, Lake Park is on the road facing a Naperville North squad that had a pretty impressive outing in the Warhawk tournament. But the Lancers could not care less. I have two words for you. Jennifer Warfield. Warfield absolutely played out of her mind. She gets things started with an early tray in the first. Later, a strong drive to the cup, plus the foul. 6-0 early run for Lake Park. Second quarter now. Look at Warfield directing traffic. She finds Carson Vance, who nails a three. Vance finished with 15 points. Fourth quarter now, and you guessed it, it's Warfield again. Peep the body control, plus the basket? That's just filthy. Huskies wouldn't go away quietly, though. Later in the fourth, Lauren Plateau steals the rock, takes it to the rack, finishes strong, plus the foul. Three-point game. But it was too much Warfield in the end. She grabs the rebound off of Lancer's miss and puts it back in. Lake Park goes on to win 56-49. Warfield finished with 22 points and 16 rebounds. Time to head over to Nequa Valley as the Wildcats host rival Matia Valley. Both teams are making its DuPage Valley debut. Matia had no answer for Division I commits Kai Moon and Maya Starks. First quarter, Moon gives the Wildcats an early 5-2 lead after she triples. She finished with 15 points. Second quarter now, Wildcats up 27-20. Mustangs turn it over, one of their 20 in the game, and then Stark's breakaway layup puts the Wildcats up by nine. Nico closed the half on a 10-2 run. Let's head to the third. Of course, it's Moon again. Her corner three starts a 9-0 run to open the half. Wildcats coast from there and get the easy W over Matia, 